Hello, I'm super excited to share with you the next frontier in analytics innovation, no code LOD calculations. So here we're looking at our trusty sample superstore data set in Kawa. And the question I wanna answer is what percent of customers made a repeat order of technology products by state? So there's three levels of detail to this question. There's orders, there's customers, and their states. So first thing I'm gonna do is go and create a linked view here on the customer. What that does is duplicate my table and it's now filtering to all of the line items for the selected customer. And next thing I wanna do is find the orders that have technology. So let's go and apply a filter on the category down here. We'll keep just technology. And that filter is only applying to the bottom view. It's not applying to the main view. So we can see that Darren made one technology purchase. If I click on Brazina, we can see that she made seven, she bought seven technology products, but she bought them on six orders. And it's the orders that we're interested in. So that's our first level of detail. And so what I want to do is take this number and bring it up into my main view. How can I do that? I just move it to the main view and boom, like that, I've done an LOD calculation with no code at all. What's nice about this is the system is completely transparent. It always shows you the origin of the numbers. So if we come and click on Irene, we see she bought two orders with technology products. I can come down here and see exactly those two orders and here's the technology. Now the nice thing is that the numbers up here will change as you change the filters down here, just to show you that. But we're, we're interested specifically in technology, so let me, let me keep that as, as we had it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse this linked view here. Now the next thing we wanna do is find just the customers that have two or more orders with technology, because those are the ones that have the repeat purchases, right? So we want, we want to find Brazina and Irene, but not Andrew or Harold. Um, we want to then count all of them and then divide it by the total number of customers grouped by state, and that'll give us our answer to our question. So let's go ahead and create a formula. What we want to do is a count unique if. So count customers if the number of orders by customer that have technology products is greater or equal to two, and then divide that by a count unique, or yeah, count unique of total number of customers. And this now gives us our percent of customers uh, with repeat technology orders. Create that, and it's gonna add a new column that's for the moment evaluating at the row level to just zero or one. Um, what, what I wanna do is aggregate this by state. So let's go ahead and apply a grouping here on state. All right, that's grouped by entire grid. Now I can see the numbers for each state and I wanna go put this into a chart. So let's go ahead and sort this here. Oops. We'll do it in descending order. And I've got my answer here. So you can see that there's four states where 100% of customers made a repeat technology purchase. So next thing we want to do is compare this to Tableau. Let's jump over and see how we do this in Tableau. All right. So first thing I want to do is identify the line items that are part of the technology category. So let's go ahead and create a calculated field. So this will be, let's call this technology items. So if the category is equal to technology, then count the row, otherwise don't. And so we can go and, and visualize what's actually happening by, by building a viz. We've got our orders, we've got our categories. Uh, let's make this a dimension and put it on color. Right, and then I can see the things with that are technology are orange and the things that are not have a value of zero. 
Um, okay. But we need this to be not at the individual line at level, but actually at the order level. So we're going to need to take an LOD calc to find orders that have technology. Okay, so what we want to do is fix to the order level of detail the maximum value, right, because this is zero or one. So the maximum, if the maximum value is zero, it means there was no technology on the order. If the maximum value is one, it means that there's technology on the order. So we'll take the max of this. And then if we go put that, where can I, I'll put it here. Um, actually, let's do, hold on. Let's do that. Okay. So you can see that it, it's taken now, the, ma the max of these three numbers is one, and so it's um, returning one for the entire partition for that whole order ID. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is count the number of orders that have technology and group that by customer. So we need another level of detail expression. So this thing we're computing here is number of technology orders Per customer. All right, so what we want to do here is fix to the customer level the sum of this thing that we just calculated previously. Um, let me hit apply. Let's put this in our viz, and then if we add customer ID, it starts to make sense. So so here, this customer had this order that has technology. We computed a one for that. We then took the maximum for the order ID uh, and then summed that up for the customer, which gives us a value of one. For this customer, there's three orders that have technology, right? And so then when you sum up the, the, the three per order, you end up with three at the customer level of detail. So that's how these, these LOD calcs are working. Um, so now the next thing we wanna do is calculate the percent of customers that had more than two technology orders by state. So we'll go and create this as an aggregate calculation. Um, so we wanna do, so if the number of tech orders per customer is greater or equal to two, then count the customer otherwise don't. So that actually let's let's call this customers with uh, repeat technology orders. Let's go ahead and visualize that. And so you'll see it's zero because this one didn't have a repeat technology order. Whereas here it's one because this one had three. Zero here because they only had one. It's one here because this one had two. Um, so it did have a repeat order. So then, yeah, the last step is now to do that aggregate calculation where we get the percent of customers with uh, repeat technology orders. So here we want to do a sum. Actually, it's just this. Sum of customers with repeat technology orders and divide that by the count distinct of customers. And so then this... at at this level of detail is just going to give us one or zeros the entire way down, but it becomes interesting when we then look at it by state. And we'll sort these. All right, so let's go ahead and now compare the numbers between Tableau and Kawa. Um, let me just turn this into a numerical view so we can see the numbers here. All right, so... Maine, North Dakota, Vermont, West Virginia, all have 100%. Maine, North Dakota, Vermont, West Virginia, all have 100%. Idaho, 91%. Idaho, 91%. New Hampshire, 88%. New Hampshire, 88%. You get the idea. So you look the whole way down and these numbers match. In Tableau, we had to create a whole bunch of intermediate calcs and then a whole bunch of intermediate visits to explain those calculations in order to get to this result. In Kawa, we did it with a single aggregate calculation. And so this, my friends, is why I have given up my company, because this right here is the future of analytics. This is the software that is gonna be taught to students in schools one day. 
Uh, and so you can try it out yourself right now by heading over to kawa.ai. Thanks so much for watching.